Should the Chicago Bears trade up for Marvin Harrison Jr. in this year's draft? Let's talk about it, people. What is going on, y'all? Fast Sports all back at it with another video talking. Of course, the man I follow you to talk about the Chicago Bears. And here to talk about a rumor, really, and starting to become, you know, more and more relevant in terms of just people talking about it. It's catching a lot of smoke, which is the Bears trading up from number nine to go ahead and snag Marvin Harrison Jr., best receiver in this draft class that's what he's considered so let me give you guys my take here in terms of this so where is this coming from well really it's just kind of you know sparked and people started talking about it there were um, you know a bunch of um, mock drafts that had the Bears trading up for Marvin Harrison Jr. and we had a couple Bears reporters even talking about it Dan Weeder uh, and his co-host uh, David Haw talked about it on their show um, in terms of, you know, trading up for him uh, because the top four picks are going to be quarterbacks. And in fact, I have the quote here from uh, one of those reporters, Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, J.J. McCarthy. If those are the top four, first four off the board quarterbacks, all of them, one through four, Ryan Pohl should be motivated to trade up with the Chargers and get Marvin Harrison Jr. Haw said, give him next year's first round pick, go get him. Uh, and then we also had Nick Wright, Nick Wright of Fox Sports uh, one in his latest mock draft have the Bears trading up with the Chargers at number five and taking Marvin Harrison Jr. in return the Chargers would get the Bears number nine overall pick and would get the Panthers 2025 second round pick okay so a lot to consider here let's start with this I think Marvin Harrison Jr. is fantastic I think he is the best overall prospect in this draft last hear that again best overall prospect right including quarterback here obviously Kayla Williams we hope is going to be special but we're talking about you know a guy that a lot of people consider bust proof like virtually can't fail a lot of people even consider him already a lock for the hall of fame like he's gonna be that good that's the type of prospect Marvin Harrison Jr. is and so you love to hear that and see that and and Obviously, if we're going to go up and get a player like that, that would be fantastic. Now, even with people saying that, we know it's not an exact science and he could still not end up being, you know, the player that everyone thinks he is. But more importantly, to me, I would not do this mainly for one reason. There is depth at that position. All right. So to get Marvin Harrison Jr., I'm not going to fault Ryan Poles if he does it. You're going to have to give up. Uh, a second round pick next year maybe a first but probably a second round pick and maybe like a third round pick next year in addition to your number nine pick this year but if you just stay at number nine you'll probably get Roma Dunze you probably get Malik Neighbors one of those two I think definitely falls in fact I did my recent mock draft one through eight Roma Dunze in my mock draft is falling to the Bears right with the quarterback getting taken with the offensive tackle getting taken, with the pass rushers getting taken, I think we end up with one of those two guys. And there is a world in which those guys are as good or better than Marvin Harrison Jr. So, hey, why not just go ahead and sit where you are and go ahead and grab one of those guys? Plus, we just acquired Keenan Allen. Plus, we have DJ Moore. So, it's not like receiver is the biggest need on the roster. So, to me, it's all about the draft capital. You already don't have a lot of draft capital this year. Now, you have a lot next year, so it's it does make sense to, you know, kind of tap it in next year and bring those and use that draft capital. But overall, to me, I think it's just going to be a rich cost to go up and trade for him. I wouldn't hate it. Would definitely not be the worst thing in the world. I would not mind it. But I just think you don't really need to. You don't really need to, all right? I, mean, I, think, I think you're going to be fine if you end up with Roma Dunze. That's just where I'm at. But hey... If Ryan Poles has that conviction that, hey, Marvin Harrison Jr. is the guy and pairing him with Caleb and having that quarterback receiver connection for years to come, like a Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, like that type, if he feels like that is what he's going to get and that is how he's going to set his quarterback up for success, then go for it, man. Uh, but yeah, it's all to me about the price tag. If you get uh, you know Marvin Harrison Jr. for a good price tag, I'm all in, but I just think it'll be a little rich and you have receivers that you can get. Just stay put at number nine. So let me know what you guys think, man. I probably wouldn't trade up, but would you trade up for Marvin Harrison Jr.? Leave a comment down below as always. Thanks for watching.